I am about to go ahead and make Tuscan salmon. They also have Tuscan chicken, but you could do it with salmon. And I'm also adding shrimp, y'all. Um, so yeah, I got all my ingredients out. I'm about to go ahead and wash my salmon off and cook this first. I'm trying to let my shrimp hurry up and unthaw. And then while my salmon is cooking, I'm gonna cut up my vegetables. The vegetables I am using is onion and some green pepper. And then the spinach, but that goes in um y'all see when i put that in so yeah go ahead wash your salmon off oh and this is skinless so i don't have to skin it where's my scissors i must be the tv i'm like i hear a man's voice the kids is in the background y'all know running and playing i wish my kids ate food like this but they don't um they requested cheese pizza and i already got that in the oven for them so yeah this is our salmon oh i love salmon i think i told y'all used to be pescatarian for like four months so me and salmon got like this so i'm gonna wash this off and i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the pan so i'll be right back all right, so I'm about to season my salmon. Um, use whatever seasons y'all would like. I would usually use Old Bay, but I don't have any of that. This is garlic powder. And then I'm using some Tony's uh, Creole. Some seasoning salt. And then it's kicking chicken. I really put this on just about anything. So. Bless me. Salmon. Well, I feel like all fish. It's a fish. You have to season the taste. So, same season is on the front. Garlic. Seasoning sauce. Tony's. Black pepper. I forgot to put that on the other side. So that's what I season it with. And then I'm about to put it in the pan. Move y'all. In the pan, I got um, just some olive oil and it's on medium. So place that salmon in there and let that cook. And then I'm about to cut up my vegetables. Skip the step. Before I cut up the vegetables, I'm about to peel not peel my shrimp because this is from Walmart. It's already peeled, but I got to pull the tail off of it. So I'm about to do that and season it with the same thing I seasoned the salmon with. And then, um, yeah, I'll show y'all. All right, so now I'm about to just cut up the rest of this onion. And then I'm going to cut up some green pepper. I did season my shrimp. Salmon is smelling good. Oh, let me check in. Kids pizza almost done. So yeah, I'm about to just cut up this onion. Really not much onion. I don't feel like opening it anymore. Thank you. 
That's why you cut a green pepper. Hold on, we gotta flip the salmon, y'all. One day I'm gonna have a kitchen and it's gonna have all different views, all different cameras set up. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Back to the green pepper. I'm not gonna put much. Alright, so now we're just waiting on the salmon to get done and then I'll show y'all the next step. Okay, so the salmon is done. I'm gonna take that out. This is how it looks. Good, good. Next, I'm going to throw in my vegetables in the same pan. This is kind of like this is a one pan dish. My vegetables, and I season these with just salt and pepper because all the other food is seasoned, so you don't want it to just be too much. You're gonna let these cook down, and once they get cooked down, um, I really like mine really cooked down. Um, so I kind of wait till the onions get translucent and then the green peppers, they'll be done at the same time, of course. And once those get um, almost done, I'm going to add in my shrimp because shrimp don't take long to cook. So. And this kind of look like a lot of onions and peppers, but I like onions and peppers. You're not an adult until you start cooking with onions and peppers. So yeah. Gonna let that cook down. The kids got their pizza and I got them some cookies in the oven too. So, yeah. I am gonna switch to this pan because it's deeper than the skillet, but I like how the skillet cooks food. So, when it's time for us to make the sauce, I'm gonna switch to this pan. I think. Probably, because I don't have a deep skillet. But. They're still cooking. Oh, and also I'm gonna make green beans. I'm on keto, so I can't have too many sides. So I'm gonna make green beans. Broccoli would be a good side with this as well. Um, with this type of pasta, y'all see, I mean not pasta, with this type of dish, a lot of people put it over pasta, white rice, or mashed potatoes because of the sauce that it makes, which is good that way too. But again, I'm on keto, so it's still going to be good, but I'm going to make some green beans. 
Okay, so this is nice and cooked down now. So I'm gonna scoot it to the side. And then I'm going to cook my shrimp. I do got my green beans on, but y'all already know how they take no time. So I'm gonna cook my shrimp till it get pink and then I'll be back. I, like I said, I'm gonna switch to this pan to make the sauce. And for the sauce, you do need heavy whipping cream. Well, the next ingredients I'm gonna use anyways, heavy whipping cream, um, Parmesan cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, and some fresh spinach, and then some seasonings, cause you have to season the sauce too. So yeah, when this get cooked up and it's time for the sauce, I'll be back to show y'all. Where who? All right, y'all. So this is done, as y'all can see. And I'm about to switch because now it is time to make our sauce. So you want to put some butter in the pan. You're gonna let that melt down and then i'm sorry that i don't use measurements y'all but baby i guess i just does it let me try a shrimp mm -hmm. that's real good And I don't like some people season this sauce, but I don't think I am because I've already seasoned the shrimp, the peppers, and the salmon. I might put a little bit of um garlic. Let me see if I got some minced garlic. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put some minced garlic in here. everything is seasoned I don't want it to be over seasoned and then we're going to add our heavy whipping cream I think I'm gonna just add about that much leave it out though because once we start adding the cheese if it's too thick you could put more heavy whipping in there so we're gonna let this come to like a slight boil. And once it starts boiling, we're gonna put our spinach in there to cook down. Well, I think the, the proper cooking terms is whelp down, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I forgot to cook down my sun-dried tomatoes. So I got it a little skillet back here and I'm about to just cook them down. Well, they already cooked down, but you're supposed to like just Basically, I guess heat them up for like a minute or two to release the flavor. So, I'm going to do that. But, yeah, I forgot to put them in that pan with that. So, yeah. I'll be back once this starts boiling a bit. I got the tomatoes. I just put them right in the pan because they already come sitting in oil. So, I drained it and then, you know, whatever oil is on there. I didn't use that much because that thing is like $5 for that little container. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, you see the heavy whipping cream is starting to boil. Go ahead and put our spinach in. I'm gonna put about that much. You already know it cooks down, so yeah. And then you just want to keep mixing this until it gets all cooked down. And once it gets cooked, once the spinach gets cooked down, we'll start adding our cheese. Yes, baby. So, yeah, just keep stirring it and stuff. And then, just like I said, this don't take no time. They actually cooking, so this value right here. So, the spinach has 
cook down. It literally takes a minute or two. So now we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. So it could start to become a sauce and thicken up. You wanna mix this in here. You wanna keep mixing until you see that the cheese is melted. So just keep mixing. It's already starting to melt. Huh? Yeah, I'm cooking. I'm cooking salmon and shrimp. Salmon, not sandwich. Salmon. Is your pizza good? Yeah. I can tell because you're on your third slice. It's a little. Add a little color to it. So yeah, just keep stirring and it's gonna get thicker. You're done? You want your cookies? Yeah. Alright, so the sauce is really done. Um you can make your sauce thicker if you like. This is the same way you make Alfredo. So now I'm about to add in my um, shrimp and onions and peppers over here. I'm gonna add that to it. I have turned it down. It's not on medium anymore, it's like medium low. this and mix it up. Sorry for the mess, y'all. You done with your cookies? Okay, put it in the sink. Put your plate in the sink. Good job, baby. Alright. So now we're going to mix that in. Mm, that looks good. So put my salmon in. Now I did cook my food, like the salmon for example, I did cook it till it was all the way done. So really this is just, the food is done, but this is just to heat it up, heat it back up. Cause the salmon, you know, it's been sitting. And I just go ahead and I coat it. And if you don't eat salmon, you can make this with chicken breast or chicken thighs. So yeah. So I'm just gonna let that shimmer a bit, boil a little bit so, so everything can get nice and hot. And then I'll show y'all the ending results. Cause the meal is done. It's really a one pan meal. Why I made it too is because like I told y'all, this is deeper than my cast iron. So I'm gonna let this boil. And then I'll show y'all it on my plate and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So this is the meal that y'all watched me cook. Let me tilt it a bit. I need some of those bowl plate things. But yes, y'all look at it. It, smell, it smells so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would do a taste test, but I already know it's good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any um, meals y'all want me to cook, um, y'all could go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section. If you have any questions about this meal, go ahead and ask down below in the comment section. It's plenty of recipes online to if you need if you're a person who need like measurements and things of that. Pinterest is a good place. I think that's why I first found this recipe years ago. But yeah, so this is the food. I'm about to go ahead and chow down. And like I said, thanks for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you're going to love it here. And um, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post. I'll show y'all one more time. I don't want my sauce to fall. <laughs> but yes, this is the meal. Um, Charles, your food is ready. I'm about to chow down because I haven't eaten all day. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all in the next one.